Hey guys, it's Angel B here and today I am going to show you how to install mod packs using the Twitch launcher. Um, my Zoo Diaries mod pack is now being approved. It is now on the Twitch launcher, so that is the mod pack I'm going to show you how to install. The same process goes for any mod pack at all that is on this site, which is basically one of the only mod pack loaders I know except technic launcher which is something completely different so what you want to do is you want to download the twitch launcher if you have not already done this i have made a tutorial my previous video on how to install minecraft mods and it is the same process basically you'll need to watch that you'll need to watch that to be able to install a twitch launcher but what you want to do is you want to open the twitch launcher and then you want to click mods and then click on your Minecraft. And then this is where it shows all your mod packs. If you wanna create your own, you click custom profile. And I've already been through this in my previous video. But to install pre-made mod packs, you want to click browse all mod packs. And then this brings up a whole list of mod packs that you can install, you can search, you can select a category, a version, and then sort by. So I'm going to show you how to install one basically. You just click install and that's it. So I'm going to search for Zoo Diaries. Here is my mod. Here is my mod pack. It is officially on the Twitch launcher for anybody to download. So I'm going to show you how to download this. So you just want to click install and that is it. It is downloading. It'll take a bit to download. So the mod pack is now installed. So then you want to go back into my mod packs and now it will have an image. Look how cute that is. So once it is installed, it'll take you to this page once you click on this and then it'll bring up a list of un of installed mods. There is quite a lot as you can see. Um, you can add resource packs if you'd like and I might upload the map in the map section so you'll be able to get maps. The next thing you want to do is click these three dots and then click open folder and then go into mods and then put that to the side. So the next thing you want to do here where it says for better performance be sure to add Optifine and add it to the mods folder. I'm going to click this button up here which says website which will take me to the actual website of this. Then I'm going to click click here for both of these because this is Plant Mega Pack. Twitch Launcher doesn't support Plant Mega Pack and it doesn't support Optifine. So I had these here, so you just click on them, click here, and then it'll take you to Optifine. So just download that. And then this is Plant Mega Pack, and then that's downloaded as well. So that's basically all you do. Then in the mods folder, we have just opened, you want to drag them both in. And then the next step is these three dots again, profile options. Now if you untick this, you can remove mods, you can add more mods if you like. So that's what that does. Where it says memory settings, I untick this and I set it something high. 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I just set it to about 4. You'll need about 2 to 3 I'd assume, but I just set it on 4 just so I'm safe. And then I'm going to click OK. And now when we go to installed mods, it will show here. You can click here, get more content, and you can install more mods if you'd like. Um, like client side mods. Let's see. Map and information. You could add like neat. You could just add anything, anything you wanted. And then I'm going to click play. And then this will load. Z Diaries. And then it will start loading the game. Okay, so it's finished installing and when we click options video settings, we will have Optifine installed. And the way I do this is to make it higher FPS as possible is I do this, put that on unlimited. I normally turn these off, but I'm going to leave them on. And then you can just mess around with the settings. Animations, when you put them all off, it'll make you, it'll give you so much more FPS to people who don't have a really good computer. And then create new world and... So here we are in the mod pack world. Um, I don't have shaders on currently, but you can add shaders if you'd like by clicking, by downloading some shaders and clicking shaders and texture packs, etc. But this is everything. And when there is a pretty biome over that, I really love that biome, especially with shaders. And I have my zoo skin on. My, um, well, it's the same skin, just a different outfit. This is my zookeeper outfit. 
And oh no, look, I forgot the little mouth. As if I forgot to put the mouth on this skin. But that is how to install mod packs. You can do that for any of the mod packs on the site. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you have. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on to get updates, to get notifications on when I upload because it seemed to be a lot recent. It seemed to be more recent, re recent recently. So, goodbye!